Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Horrifyingly, it's favourites time again. Alarming. Now, I didn't really do a proper monthly favourites last month because I did instead my half year favourites, my halfway through the year. These are my favourites so far this year. So yeah, it's nice to get back to just, uh, this is what has been doing it for me this month. So starting off, I've got quite a lot of lip colours, so we'll do them last. Um, but first of all, my base that I have been loving so far in the hot weather that we're having here, heat wave after heat wave. Currently it's 95 or something here in the UK and the humidity this morning was 99%. My poor hair. So I've been loving mixing these two together. This is what I've got on right now. Glowy, hydrating, lightweight, gold tons of spf in both 50 in this one 23 in this one this one is too light for me i've got the shade medium tan and it's much too light for me now um, and this is a little dark it's 8n honey actually it works fine once i've got concealer on and everything um but the combination of these two together is the perfect shade, it's perfectly glowy, it wears nicely, it's perfect if it's a bit hot and you don't feel like putting anything on your face. I really love this combo, nice and smooth, hydrating, fresh, loveliness, like just really, really nice. The other one I've been using, I reviewed this recently, this is the Hello Happy Flawless Brightening Foundation. This is the mini size, I reviewed this one with a sample and then I decided to pick up the mini in a different shade. So this is the shade six, which I much prefer. Um, when it first goes on, it looks a little light and a little warm, but once it sets down, it's perfect for me. This foundation, I am loving it. It's like my favorite hot weather, glowy, light, hydrating foundation ever. I'm definitely gonna be purchasing the full size of this one when it runs out. I love it. I don't think I'll use it in the winter, but at the moment I'm loving like a fresh, natural, healthy, glowy base. Um, and this one is just heavenly, so hydrating, wears very well, glowy, stays the perfect level of glowy for me without being wet or oily looking and without transferring everywhere. It's not transfer proof, but it does wear nicely and it's not coming off everywhere like some foundations. I really grown to love this one. I think it's easily benefits best ever foundation. Next up, the Double Wear Concealer. This is the Radiant Concealer that I reviewed recently. Might be my favorite concealer of all time. I'm still trying it out against the Jeffree to see which one is my ultimate favorite. This is like the Huda Concealer and the Jeffree Concealer had a baby. So it's got the more natural finish of the Jeffree, but it's got the coverage of the Huda and it doesn't crease. I've set it, most of the time I set it. In my review, I set one side and not the other, and it's fine both ways, but obviously it creases more if you don't set it, but it will um, age you a bit more if you add powder. So it's really your preference. I love it either way. It's phenomenal, a great 10 mils, which is a really good deal. I think it's phenomenal, and lots of people are gonna love this concealer, especially more mature skin types. Moving on, some cheek products. So a couple of new cheek products. I think I've had these a month or so now, so plenty of time to try them out. First up, this is the Anastasia bronzer in the shade Saddle. Obsessed with this. This was something like some amount really cheap on Cult Beauty. And I don't know if it's a mistake, but I think it was like 18 pounds or something. And I saw it and I was like, that can't be right. I think it's supposed to be 30 and it doesn't say it's on the sale, like it hasn't got a sale price, you know, in red or anything. It just says it's that amount and I think that's an incredible deal. It's a huge big bronzer. At the moment I struggle with bronzers because I'm so tan and either bronzers, they're too cool toned for me or they just don't go with my tone or they're too light. So I picked this one up hoping it would be dark enough and it is perfect. It's such a buildable formula a beautiful natural finish and it blends like a dream. 
absolute dream. It's what I've got on today. And it's just very easy to build up as much or as little as you want and stay really natural or really bronze. And it never looks too much. It never looks muddy. It's the perfect tone for my current skin tone. It's changed my summer life. Much the same as this blush. This is the Laura Mercier blush in the shade Grapefruit. As you know, I love the peach one. But at the moment, it doesn't really show up on me. Or not in the way I want it to. I like blush. Look at this. It is like the peach blush, but on heat. So it's, it's just a lot more suited to my tan skin it's absolute heaven everything i love about the peach shade but better on my tanned skin if you have like tanned to deep skin this just is glorious beautiful luminous no glitter or shimmer glow pop of corally peachy heaven that's all i can say the other blush I've been loving in the month of July is an oldie but a flipping goodie and this is Max Modern Mandarin. It is beaten to death. Don't know if you want to focus but you know whatever. It's beaten to death. It's an all-time favourite of mine. Works beautifully as a subtle hint of mandarin shade again a really buildable did you see how much that built then with that little extra stripe so for me on my tan skin this is just a bit more of a subtle peachy orangey glow on my skin but you can really build it up i think this would work up to like an nc42 which is around where i am right about now um just absolutely perfect for everyday summery blush shade let me tell you an eyeshadow palette woo, that I have gone back to this month and wondered why I ever stopped using it or just neglected it a bit. And this is the Huda New Nudes palette. I have a 10 looks one palette with this palette. How many times can we say palette? Um, and I just haven't really reached for it recently. I guess because to look at it, it looks more like autumny, wintry shades, but I have been loving this recently. I don't wonder if you can see my messy bedroom in the mirror. <laughs> I've been exposed. But I just love, I love the more subtle colours at the moment. So Teddy, I love a little bit of Secret. Tickle looks beautiful on more tanned skin, just as a sort of crease shade. I love using the concealer. Dare, oh, Bear, sorry, can't read. Is great on my brow bone at the moment, just use really softly. All of the shimmery shades. Are just glorious and I've been reaching for this a lot in the last couple of weeks. A mascara that I reviewed, this is the Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. I love this mascara. It did not beat my Monsieur Big. Monsieur Big is still my heart, my soul, my soulmate, my life, my love, my everything. But this came pretty close. I didn't like the huge giant, well I, I appreciate the huge ginormous brush but it is a little tricky to maneuver because it is just bigger than my head to be honest the size of this look at it it does make a flipping good lash and if you don't like how wet the monsieur big formula is this is the closest that anything has come i think to being as dramatic as the monsieur big is and the last thing before we move on to lip products because i have a lot of those this is the opi start to finish base coat top coat and strengthener i got this in my um influencer vox box that i had last month and let me tell you i was shocked i've never bought a base coat or a top coat in my life i'm just not about the layering life but this has made nail varnish, average nail varnishes that normally are like ruined in a day or two last for weeks. I had my nails the same colour for like two weeks and I didn't even feel like I needed to do anything to them. It, it is amazing and the fact that it's actually strengthening my nails at the same time. It makes polishes go on nice and smooth if you use it as a base coat and it, I feel like it makes them really even as well like with less coats. But the lasting power with this over the top, 
has changed my life. I was really surprised and now I'm gonna have to keep repurchasing this, which is really annoying because I didn't know I couldn't live without it until I had it, so that's annoying. So I have many lip products and the first is a lip liner from MAC. This is the shade Lasting Sensation. You guys know I love a bright, peachy, corally lip and this now is the perfect shade of lip liner to go with any bold peachy orangey lip shade it's absolutely perfect for any orange peach coral lip of which i have many many the first one i'm going to talk about is the one i've got on right now this is spring break from huda beauty the first like pinky lipstick i think i've ever really loved it's just perfect you could probably use that lip liner with that as well it's just obviously a bit more of the orange shade but with a bit of blotting i think you could make it work as you can see just a bright perfect summer shade speaking of bright orange things max morange i picked up fairly recently and holy moly if you want a bright orange quite deep better on sort of medium to tan skin shiny glowy bold lip morange is your gal i've also been loving this i picked up from pat mcgrath this is the shade emmanuel of her blitz trance and i didn't know if i was going to like this you know because it's described as a metallic and i'm like oh i'm not 14 so am i allowed to wear metallic lips now don't know but then the packaging I was like I don't even care if it just sits on my desk I'll be happy with it and then I tried it on and it's really not metallic in my opinion it's just glowy it just literally looks like a either a gloss or a, a shinier lipstick and I absolutely love it whenever I post a picture on Instagram wearing that lip shade everyone's asking me what it is because it is just so pretty and summer perfect and of course i was going to mention this guy this is the lisa eldridge go lightly shade i've posted lots of pictures of this on my instagram and i've worn it in quite a lot of my videos it is just life-changing i believe it's back in stock again soon or now or any day or maybe it's probably already sold out again but oh my god it is perfect bright peachy corally salmon pink it is very buildable so i think lots of skin tones will get on well with it um but i think built up as bold as it can be on me is an absolute delight now if you didn't know <laughs> last month i won my second charlotte tilbury giveaway so if you think charlotte tilbury's giveaways nobody wins i factually can tell you that they do because i've won twice the first one was like six or about seven months ago just before christmas and then i won her happy kiss competition if you think it's a fix let me just show you my entry because i think you'll all agree i deserved to win that took me I mean, I say it took me, it took them about 58 goes until I was happy with their kiss. Happy kiss. <laughs> but we won. We won her entire collection of her Happy Tip Kiss 2 lipsticks. I've already talked to you about Karina's Star. I think that was in my favourites, my previous favourites, because that is the one shade that I purchased for myself when the collection first came out. As you can imagine, it's kind of a darker, peachy, orangey nude. The other two favourites I have currently from the collection are Patsy Red, which I've definitely worn in some videos. Just a really nice, bright, summery red, almost like a sort of pinky red. Just perfect, bright red for summer. I love it. This packaging. I've got a video swatching every one of the shades on my lips if you want to see the other shades. And Glowing Gen, which is like a darker rosy nude. I feel like this is what I wanted Pillow Talk to be. Pillow Talk is a bit light for my complexion, um, but this is like a darker version, which I love on my skin tone. So those are my three current faves from that whole collection that I won. Um, I know they'll change when we get to winter. I know I'm going to start loving some of the others i think i'm going to start loving jk magic and i'm going to love angel alessandra those ones in winter are going to be just 
gorgeous on my lighter skin. I love every single, there's not a shade in there I don't love and that I won't wear. These are just the ones that I love the most in my tanned skin. So there you have it, those are all my July faves. Soz for all the lip products, but that's just how the cookie crumbles. It's summer and I'm all about the bright lip life. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you guys have been loving through the month of July and I would love to see you in my next video. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye, 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 bye.